Have yourself a little happy Christmas. Have a happy day. Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I am making my little candle slash pot slash coffee mug trivet or even, you know, pan. Um, and I'm just using the Dollar Tree large popsicles. And unfortunately, I didn't look close enough to this one. I would not, next time I wouldn't get it. There's one, two, three, three really badly bent ones. Although I've, um, I've already made two red ones from my other pack. And I only had two bad ones. See how bad those are? You can't use those for the trivet. And, you know, but I had enough left over, so I'm thinking there's really, probably two really bad ones here. But just kind of be mindful of that. Like, the green ones, they're all pretty nice and straight. Looks like there's one here that's somewhat crooked. See that? Okay. So, out of the green ones, I only had two and a half that were bad. Um, so this one's way bad. Okay, here's a straight one. Let's see. So you don't want to use that one. Is this even focused? There. And this one's not too bad. Like that, you could glue that. It'd glue down nice, so if I need to, I can use that. Otherwise... Excuse me, the rest are pretty good. I've already made another green one too. So, oops, see, like this one's no good. Maybe that one's a good one. There. So they're pretty good. That one, not so much. So, oops, all you do is put down two. And slather them with glue, leaving the points. What is with this? Leaving some points up here. Once you get making them, you'll know how well much you need to leave unglued. And I like to put kind of a lot on there. Oops. <coughs> so then and you just want kind of I don't need to have this on in fact I'm gonna take it off oops it has been driving me nuts so I'm gonna get that off and I'm sure if anybody was in Girl Scouts or any kind of, oops, no, look at that. Any kind of crafty YMCA, whatever, YWCA, I don't know. Anyways, because we made these in, at the Y. I used to, when I was in junior high, I taught crafts at my local YMCA for little kids. And we made these. I also made some a couple of years ago for a craft sale, and they sold really well. I just used regular popsicle sticks. But when I saw these, I thought these would be really cute to make little trivets and then decorate them for Christmas. Now this one here is kind of wonky, but... I will put a weight on it. And I've been using like pots and pans and planters to weigh it down. And it'll be fine. It's just going to matter on how you want to decorate it. So then you just want to make sure everything's kind of even. And then turn it over and look at it and eyeball the evenness and I think that looks good. 
So now I'm going to go put this on my counter with a pan on it and let it dry. I'm going to clean up some of this glue. Let it dry. And then I'm going to decorate it. I'm not sure how I'm going to decorate it yet. I for sure will decoupage it um, so that if they do put a pot on there, it's not going to soak into the wood. So I might cut out some cute little or put stickers on them. We'll see. All right, so I learned a couple things when I did my first two, which is this one and this one. That is, um, the first time I did it, I laid down Mod Podge, put all my stickers on, and then put a coat over. And the paint on these sticks are is really transferable. Um, so you want to be careful. So in, instead, I have put on a coat of Mod Podge, let it dry, put another coat of Mod Podge on, and while it's wet, put my stickers on, let that dry, and then put another coat of Mod Podge over the top. Because what happened, like on here, this is a white doily trim that I have. And when I was um, doing this one, the Mod Podge, first layer of Mod Podge was still wet. Put my stickers on, and when I went to coat that Mod Podge, or the stickers, it the paint transferred over onto everything. Or not everything, but Santa's little face a little bit. A little bit on the bulbs, but especially on here. Then I just went over, it wasn't as bad as this, it was splotchy. And I just went over this with a pit pen, a, a marker, a red marker, just to um, make it look like I meant to do that. So, again, let your first Mod Podge coat dry. In fact, I actually did two coats on this, um, just to be on the safe side. And then now we're going to do the stickers. So now you can put another coat on. And you're still going to see a little bit of green, I think. Because I just did a red one and it was still a little bit, little tiny transfer of paint, but not as much. So just keep that in mind. And plus, you don't want the paint transferring onto anybody's good tablecloth or runner or whatever, wherever they put this. There's a glob. So this is just a coat for the stickers. And again, I'm going to put the stickers on and let that this dry and then coat over the stickers so that they're nice and adhered. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to use this. I love these stickers. I think I can. Let me just do this one first. Because so I do want to use the forest, the frost sticker book. And again, these are from Michaels. They are so cute. Hmm. So I still want to do my border. I'm going to put my border on all of them. Once you have a little happy heart, let the dream start. Happy new year is on its way. Um, now there is no way that any paint's going to spread because I've got one, two, four coats on here. Um, so I'm using this Scarlet Lime pen. Uh, Christy Tomlinson sells them, but all you need is a waterproof um, marker. Zig makes the, I've had these, I'm not kidding. I bought these 20 years ago and they still work just fine. I just prefer this one. Um, just because I'm used to it. So I'm just going to do some doodling just to kind of add a little extra, extra. You don't have to do this, but like I said, it's kind of beyond my control anymore. I just like it. So now later
lately I've been doing little hearts. You can just do little squiggles, little circles, little dots, whatever. Kind of let those dry before you get your hand all over it. As me, if, ask me how I know to do that. I'll tell you why, because I've mucked it up before. So the doodling is dry, and now I'm just going over with pit markers a la Vicky Pompano, or is it Pompano? Pompano. And that just is to kind of give it some shading or shadowing, shading, and kind of highlight the images while giving them a little bit of an antique distressed look. That's super easy. These are from, I get mine from Dick Blick. We have a couple of stores local, and uh, they're a few bucks, you know, but for something like this, you don't need too many colors. I don't have maybe 15 or 20, but you can get um, packs of them, and then use one of their Dicky Blicky coupons. So it kind of takes it a little bit less stickery looking too to help the look of it. <clears throat> There's that one. Then, so then I'm going to just put some little feet on the back. These are a little bigger than what I would want, but I'm not going to go buy new ones because my husband thinks he's going to run out of uh, little pads for our chairs, our four chairs in our dining room. He's funny. There's a few other pieces of furniture. We have hardwood floors, so he likes to take care of them. This one is not coming off. And this will protect any surface that these are placed on. There you have it. I will show all of them at the end of the video, but I hope you give it a try. I think they turned out pretty cute. And if I do put another coat on, I, I think I might, just to be on the safe side. And if I have a problem with that, I will let you know. All right, so here are the coast trivets. I keep calling them coasters and the trivets. So here's the first one, and I ended up just, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, putting stickles, decorations on, on all of the little things, so you can see the sparkle, hopefully. So there's that one. And I kind of did similar little decorations. And I used about um, three out of the five pages in the sticker book. And, and I do like how, I like it when it's highlighted with the pit markers. I think it just adds a little more dimension to it. I like that one, that's cute. So hopefully you can see the stickles. 
and there's that one. And then I made, um, using an old Dina Fishbine, I think her name was, Dina Tag die from Sizzix. I think it's Happy Tags number two. I made some um, just gift tags with some washi tape and some of the stickers, and then I just doodled on this the same as I doodled on. You can see the doodling on this one. So these are just about just a little bit of variety, not too much of a variety. Kind of just the same. And then I used, and this paper is just from a recollections, you know, those two or three dollar um, packs of paper. I think this one was uh, maybe cool water. I'm not sure. I'm not going to guess because I don't know. So there's that. Um, so really, this is about a $2.50 project and um, hopefully they'll sell at my craft sale. Thanks for watching. Bye. Once you have a little